a very good day to one and all and I hope that you all are doing great. Well students, as we all know that managing an F&B outlet is all about managing or supervising the day to day's operation. Apart from that we need to ensure that all company rules and policies are followed and practiced and all the sales and expense targets are achieved. So today in this session we are going to learn and understand the various aspects involved in managing an F&B outlet for a smooth and efficient operations. So to begin with let's first check out the work plan for the day's operation such as the target for the day, important tasks assigned, reservations and appointments for the day etc. After that we check out all the tools, equipments and facilities available and ensure that they all are operational and functional. After ensuring the operational and functional aspects of all tools and equipments, we need to ensure that all the plant control measures are followed and practiced on various stages of operation cycle such as using standard purchase specification and purchase order during purchasing, using invoices and credit notes during receiving, requisition and indent sheet during issuing and QTs and guest checks for the sales. Apart from the control measures, we also need to ensure that all planned SOPs are followed during the operations. It not only helps in enhancing the standards but also in maintaining the uniformity in work, reducing accidents and miscommunications, etc. Well, as a part of managing the outlet, we also need to ensure that the outlet is laid as per the plan layout for a smooth workflow and proper utilization of space. So once we are ready with the restaurant layout, we do the staff scheduling. In staff scheduling, we usually forecast staff requirement for the future operations, plan and prepare duty rosters as per the schedule and finally helps in staff on duty and off duty training. So once we are ready with the everything, we start the operations by conducting the staff briefing which is usually taken by the manager and attended by all restaurant staff on duty. After the staff briefing we can start up with the final execution of work by preparing the area and setting up all service tools and equipments and facilities. For this we usually perform Misa Sa and Misa Pla. So now let's manage the operations and for managing the operations we need to supervise the day's operations during the reservations and receiving of the guests, order taking and suggestive selling, guest service and clearance, bill settlement and guest feedback and finally closing and relaying the table for the next service. Once we are finished with the day's operations it's time to close by closing the shift generating various reports such as sales reports, updating logbook, taking a debriefing of the staff, switching off all facilities and locking up the place and in the last but not the least depositing the cash and keys to the concerned authorities. So I hope students now you have a better understanding of the various aspects of managing an F&B outlet in an effective and efficient manner. So let's keep watching, keep learning and keep understanding. Have a nice day. Thank you so much.